Oliver, thank you for coming. Um, as you know, you reacted to the curry that had cashew nut in, mm -hmm. and because it was quite an unpleasant reaction where you had some difficulty breathing, yeah. we talked about giving you an adrenaline pen to carry around all the time so that if you were caught out in the future and had a problem, you've got something that will help you while the ambulance is on its way. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you how to use the EpiPen. Okay. Now this is a real EpiPen. and it contains adrenaline and what we're going to show you is how you would inject it into the muscle in your leg to help you and the good news about the adrenaline is it helps all three of the serious things that can happen in a bad anaphylactic reaction those things are first of all asthma where you get very tight yeah. breathing mm -hmm. the second is when your voice box goes very swollen and you <gasps> have difficulty breathing in and the third thing that can happen sometimes is your blood pressure can fall. Yeah. But the good news is that the adrenaline will help all three of those problems. Now I'm going to show you a trainer practice pen, which looks like this. And this hasn't got any adrenaline in it or a needle in it, so we use it for practicing how to do it properly. Okay. okay. The first thing to tell you is that when you hold the pen, you hold it in a fist. Lots of people think they need to use their thumb, but you don't. Just hold it in a fist like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. The place we're going to want to inject the adrenaline is in the muscle on the side of our leg, because there aren't any big blood vessels there, and it's a good place for it to work. And it's halfway down your thigh, and halfway round, so not right round here, not at the top, but halfway round there, so 45 degree angle. So what we do is we hold in a fist and we put the EpiPen in position. Then there's a grey safety catch on the top and we take the safety catch off. Now it's like a safety catch on a gun, now this can fire, but we've got it in the right position all ready to go. Yeah. Then it's a little swing, so watch and listen carefully, you'll hear it click when it, when it hits my leg. When it goes in, then I need to count slowly up to 10. Now some people, to make it easier to uh, slow down, add something like elephant. So we might say yeah. one elephant, two elephant, three elephant, all the way up to 10. And then in the real device there would be a little needle here and you would need to bend it over so it doesn't hurt anyone and put it carefully away. That would have injected adrenaline into this muscle and that would help all those things we talked about. Yeah. Okay? Okay, yep. So I'm going to show you just through the whole sequence again to remind you. So first of all, we hold in a fist and we leave a gap. Then we take the safety catch off and then the swing. And one elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant, right up to ten and then remove it, okay? Now, is that quite clear? Do you understand? Yep. Now, this is quite important because if we do it wrong, we can get into trouble. I'm going to show you how not to do it now. This is um, what you should not do. So I'm going to pretend I'm very anxious and I haven't been practicing properly and I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to pretend that's happening, okay? So here we go. What have I done? Injected your thumb. I've injected my own thumb now. That's really serious, isn't it? And actually that's very bad news because if we were to do that, adrenaline in the end of my thumb will really switch off the blood supply. And there's a risk the end of my thumb could actually die. So be careful about this. Now, Mum, I'm just going to explain to you if you were given the EpiPen, how it would happen. Yeah. So I've shown you on myself. Now I'm going to pretend I'm Dad and I'm giving it to Oliver. Yeah. So now, Oliver's got breathing difficulties, so I have him sitting down and it's really important that he does not stand up at all. Right. Um, if somebody stands up during an, an anaphylactic reaction, their blood pressure can fall very suddenly. Yeah. So normally, if I stand up, my body can control things and my blood pressure doesn't drop. Yes. But if I'm having anaphylaxis mm. and I'm having trouble breathing and I'm having an anaphylactic reaction and I stand up, I will collapse yeah. and it can be very serious. So you must be either sitting down if you have a breathing problem or lying down if you're feeling faint, in which case it's good to have the legs elevated. Right. So let's pretend 
he's having a reaction and he's got some breathing difficulty and I'm daddy and I'm going to give him his EpiPen. Yeah. So it's the same approach, hold the EpiPen in a fist right. and hold it over the outer aspect of his thigh. So on this side, on the outside of the thigh, same mm -hmm. position, halfway down, halfway round. Yeah. Hold it in position, leave a gap, take the safety catch off. The only thing that's different is we just stabilise his leg so his leg doesn't jump away. One elephant, two elephant, three, all the way up to ten, yeah. and then remove the EpiPen. The reason we need to hold it in position is because it does take a little while for the medicine to go into the muscle, which is what we need. What we don't want to do is this. If we were to jump, so we went in and jump, and the needle came out again, then it won't have time to go in properly. Yeah. Now, you have to, do you understand all that? 